Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Karen here with another video. And thank you so much for tuning in. So as you can tell from the title, we'll be talking about the um, Crate and Barrel Lodge Cast Iron Collaboration. Uh, I stumbled across this because as you know, I'm always looking for certain things. During the spring and summer, we eat quite light around here, light meaning I try to choose things that I can use from the garden and not so heavy because where we live, it gets really hot and so, you know, most of the time no one's really in the mood for like heavy duty food. So I tend to make like pizzas, quiche, lots and lots of salads. So what I was on the hunt for was a pizza, pizza wheel, pizza iron, um, um, something similar to that. And um, so I decided to go on Crate and Barrel to see if they had anything. I wanted something that was going to last more than a couple of months to a year, preferably something that was gonna last a very long time. And then I stumbled across the Lodge um, collaboration that they have. Um, all the things that I found on the Crate and Barrel site, you're also able to find them on the Lodge.com site. Um, but these are great deals. Um, cast iron is, I've been cooking with cast iron for over 20 years. And um, I started with cast iron before I even added any enamel coated cast iron. All cast iron is gonna be heavy. The difference between this and your Le Creuset or Stove or Trimatina or uh, Cuisinart is the fact that um, this is, you. it comes pre-seasoned um, and you have to continue doing that. Um, when, you wa when I wash my cast iron skillets, I um, don't use a lot of soap because I don't want to dry the pan out. So I use a hot, hot water and use a towel to clean everything out and then I dry it on the eye, on the stove, to make sure that it is completely and totally dry so there is no residue in order to cause any rust. And I uh, season our pans every two to three months. Um, to me, that's not that's a small price to pay for the ability to use these pans over and over again and as i said the vast majority of my cast iron skillets i have had for over 20 years um so i was so happy to find these items and i thought i would share them with you guys so now that i've been rambling for two minutes and 45 seconds let's get into it so the first item that i found i have my handy dandy notebook here um is the Lodge cast iron pizza pan. This pizza pan is $49.95 with the silicone grips. Now, mind you, the grip can come off if you prefer that. Um, this is comes pre-seasoned with vegetable oil. This is not for stovetop use. It is 19.38 inches in diameter, so really big. Um, it's for your average size pizza. You can use this in the oven without the grips up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're putting the grips on, the silicone grips, the handles can withstand 425 degrees Fahrenheit. You're gonna hand wash and dry um, by hand as well. I thought it was a great thing. This pizza iron, pizza pan, excuse me, is gonna last you a very long time. Um, and for $49.95, um, I think it's a really good price in terms of how long you're going to get your cost per use, most definitely. Um, then on top of that, I liked the next item, which was the Acacia Pizza Peel. It's $36.95. This is a beautiful um, wood um, uh, plate sort of if you will for you to slide your pizza onto your cast iron uh, into the oven or if you're using that cast iron pizza pan on a grill this will help you not come in contact with so much heat um, and also allow you to dress your pizza and whatnot and then slide it right onto the skillet and also return it back to this um this uh pizza peel um, after the pizza is done. And that way your um, cast iron pizza pan can, can, st can stay continuously hot and ready for the next pizza that you want to cook. 
um, the acacia pizza peel. Um, you would apply wood oil as needed. You would hand wash, and this is 14 inches in diameter, um, which I think is a you know really good because your average home pizza is going to be about 14 inches. Uh, the next one is oh, I I was like this is a definite the Lodge cast iron wok at $69.95. Once again, this is pre-season. Pre it's oven safe up to 500 degrees. It is 18.25 inches in diameter. You're gonna hand wash, hand dry, and you know this is gonna have superior heat distribution um, from the, the bottom of the pan all on the sides. Um, you know, so this is a definite on my list this and the pizza pan. The other items on the list I just thought were really cool and decided to share with you guys. So moving on to the next one is the Lodge Chef Collection Cast Iron Stir Fry Skillet. This is about the same size, it holds about the same amount as the Balti dish from Le Creuset. So this is 12 inches in diameter and it holds 3.75 quarts. Um, all of you know all of cast iron is going to be spatula friendly and it's this one is suitable for all cook cooktops um, once again you're going to hand dry and wash it and also this improves with use so the more you use it the more seasoned this pan becomes as do all um, cast iron skillets next you have the cast iron baking pan now what i really like with this okay first off is 49.95 um that may seem like a lot for a um, baking pan but if you think about how many times we bake cookies or um things like that and the cookie pan warps um or becomes you know like kind of it's not it doesn't do any it doesn't have an even cooking um, or even heat distribution on the bottom and you having to turn that pan all around imagine not having to do that now I'm not saying that the cast iron um, baking pan is gonna be you know uh, hand friendly you can't reach in there and grab it <laughs> you're going to need some heavy-duty pot holders with this but the mere fact that I don't have to replace it over and over again makes this an exciting buy to me it comes seasoned this is not for stove tops but you can use it on uh, in with your oven grills and an open fire and of course you're going to hand wash and dry this item next is the lodge cast iron 9 by 13 inch casserole with the silicone grips for 49.95 um, once again, this is not for your stove top. This is for use in the oven, grill, open flame. Um, you're gonna hand wash and dry, but I think this is really good if, uh, for cornbread, cakes, anything that you're, you're making. You could even make a small lasagna in this. Um, yeah, there's so much you could use, and just imagine not having to replace these items. So you're going to have these items. If you, if they're take, well taken care of, they're going to be around for a very, very long time. Um, one thing that I thought was cute, Maya, Maya always likes um, little tiny cast iron things, and this one, I, I showed it to her, and she just thought it was so cute. This is the Lodge Cast Iron Sauce Pot. So if you like to make your own barbecue sauces or any type of sauce where you're, you know, a sauce for braising or um, any type of sauce like that, and it needs to be warm, this is a pre-seasoned small little sauce pot that you can put on the grill, you can use it on the stove top, you can, you know, you can actually bake something in it because it's cast iron and you can use it for that purpose. And it's $19.95. Um, and it, you know, but you would have to be careful with it on a, a, a stove simply because it is small. So you're going to fill the flame around your hand a little bit. It, if you're cooking with gas heat, we have a gas stove. So little tiny pots like that. Yeah. They, um, yeah, you'll fill the heat a little bit. Um, and then last but not least is the Lodge cast iron five quart Dutch oven for $59.95. 
and it's 12.5 inches in diameter. I just wanted to add this to show that if you are interested in purchasing a Dutch oven but are not quite sure how often you're going to use it and you don't want to spend a heavy duty coin right away, here you have it, a five quart Dutch oven in cast iron for $59.95, a great price to start out with to see if you like it. Um, to see, you know, the only difference between this and stove or La Crusade is that you are going to have to um, season and oil this every two to three months, but it's a really simple process. It's just like you're washing your dishes, you clean them, you, you wash the pot, you clean the pot, you add a vegetable oil on the inside and the outside. You can do that with a, a, a towel or a paper towel. Turn your oven on, I do it at 350 degrees, and I leave it in there for 20, 30 minutes. And that's it, that's it, that's all to it. It's not, it, you know, it's not that complicated. But that's the end of that. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know what you're interested in um, in the comments section below. I know for certain um, that I will be purchasing the pizza, um, the pizza pan, the Lodge pizza pan, um, and these have to be ordered online. Um, I called the Crate and Barrel store. They don't carry them. Well, at least my Crate and Barrel doesn't carry these items inside the store. Um, so you have to order them online. So I know that I definitely want the wok and um, as well as the pizza pan. And then everything else, you know, that'll come in and, you know, whenever, whenever. But it's nice to know that it's there. Um, so I hope you guys found this. Oh, and the wooden peel thing. That's, that's nice. But I think that's kind of, that's kind of extra. I don't mind pulling the thing in and out. I really don't. That's just me. <laughs> but it is, it will be nice to have the acacia wood board as well. But I just thought it was really pretty too. Anyway, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, what's your spring and summer cuisine like? What are you, what do you guys normally cook during uh, as we get into the warmer months, what do you all normally cook? Do you do you still cook the same thing year round? How does that work for you guys? Let me know in the comments below. Um, please give us a thumbs up, and um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.